How to Create an Inbound SIP Trunk To create an inbound SIP trunk, navigate to the Trunk section and select the Voice In option. Click on the Add New button and select the SIP Trunk option from the drop-down menu. A window with the required inbound trunk settings will be opened. Enter a memorable name for the SIP trunk. This friendly name will be used as the main identifier for the trunk. Select the server that is closest to your location or leave this setting as local if you want the system to automatically find the best route for your voice traffic. Set the capacity limit, which defines the maximum number of simultaneous calls for the trunk. Provide your username that will be used to identify your number outside our system. You also may use the DID pattern, which will be automatically replaced by the call DID number, DNIS, in E164 format. Select the protocol, UDP or TCP, that will be responsible for the SIP requests and responses. In the Host field, enter your server's public IP address or domain. Select the required caller ID format by using the CLI Format drop-down menu. The following format options are available. RAW, which is the default setting, means that DIDWW will pass the incoming caller ID unchanged. If E164 is selected, then the system will attempt to convert the CLI to E164 format, being country code plus area code plus number. A setting of local means that the system will attempt to convert the CLI to a local format, being area code plus number. If required, enter CLI prefix, for example, plus one. In this prefix, you may add up to six characters, which also may be digits, plus or the hashtag. If the Map All DIDs option is checked, then all DIDs in your account will be assigned to this inbound trunk. Take care when using this option, as the action is irreversible. Other advanced configuration options may be left unchanged, and default values may be applied to your configuration by clicking on the Use Recommended Values button. When you have completed the configuration of this SIP trunk, Click Submit to save and activate the settings. In order to receive calls to your DID number, your SIP trunk must be assigned to that number. Navigate to the DID Numbers section, locate the DID number that you wish to configure, and click on the pencil icon in the Trunk column. From the drop-down menu, select the preferred inbound SIP trunk and click the Submit button. The name of your newly assigned trunk will be visible in the trunk column. For more information, please start a live chat directly from the top menu on your user panel, or please take a look at the knowledge base on our website.